by the power of God. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. As many as are gathered unto this program, lay your hands upon them by fire, by power, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. We are here tonight to address a serious issue in this particular edition of Mana Water. I'm talking to you about what I call dangerous dreams. Dangerous prayers. Dangerous dreams. Dangerous prayers. And I need for you to listen very carefully. Your dreams. They are your spiritual monitor. Your dreams enable us to know what is going on in your spiritual life. Your dreams opens up a little bit of information of what goes on in your life in the spirit realm. To neglect those dreams could be a terrible tragedy. Sometimes some people are sick. The sickness introduces some strange dreams. There's a particular very popular disease amongst people in the tropics. Malaria. There are certain things you can call malaria dreams. Up, up and down from there to there, no direction, malaria dreams. Even this pandemic now, there are dreams that have been provoked by the pandemic. Now, in the dream life, the spirit world comes into contact with human lives. And so, Satan is very much interested in influencing our dreams. Those dreams are your visions during sleep. A revelation to man of a small part of the activities going on in the spirit realm. A sort of a film show of occurrences in the spirit realm. Sometimes there are images from the spirit realm presented to you there. Even if a dream does not make sense, no dream is totally useless. It helps you to deal with the physical. The dreams help you to deal with the spiritual battles that you face. All dreams contain a message. And we must be careful what to do with them. But there is a rule. There is one rule. What is the difference? How do you know whether a dream is bad or a dream is good? How do you know whether a dream is safe? 
or a dream is dangerous. The way to know whether a dream is good or bad is to look at the end of that dream. No matter what started it. If that dream ends well, no death, no loss, no wounding, no stealing of things, no panic, and it's a good dream. If the dream ends in tragedy, in loss, in panic, in fear, then it's a bad dream. And you should not joke with it. When a dream ends in a way, and you, and you find yourself well and okay, and whatever is attacking you is destroyed, self dream but when they pursue and pursue and pursue you you fly they fly after you you swim they swim after you you run they run after you and you wake up without conclusion it's dangerous Somebody is pointing a gun against you in the dream. And he shot. And you felt the bullets entering your body in that dream. You did not respond. You did not get out the bullets. And you woke up like that. Dangerous dreams. Dreams are metaphors of dark sayings. This is why God uses it too. To communicate. One of the ways God speaks to people is through dreams. To communicate. There are two Josephs in the Bible who are dreamers. As in Joseph of the Old Testament, who is popularly known as Joseph the Dreamer. There is another Joseph in the New Testament, the father of Jesus Christ, another dreamer, both getting information from the dream. So, so dreams can reveal insight to us and insight into what lies ahead of you it enables us to see far into the future that's, that's why most dreams cannot be figured out with human understanding let me take for example the dream of Joseph he saw stars bow down how can stars bow down if people if you see stars standing at your front for a star to bow down then the shape must be the shape of a human being who can bow down there's no stars in the sky you see, somebody said they are bowing down so, so dreams are made up of dark things immediately Joseph told the dream to the father the man understood this straight away so what kind of dream is this you mean your brother me and your mother will come and bow down to you so dreams are mysterious and mostly cannot be figured out with human understanding sometimes a, a dream is a call to pay attention to something you are ignoring 
Sometimes it brings our attention areas of tension in our lives. So all those dreams have important messages for you. Before I go on, I want to pray one prayer. And I want your amen to be volcanic and reckless. I've been praying this prayer for eight weeks. <laughs> I want to pray it again today. When the brethren of Joseph captured him, the reason they wanted to kill him was because of those dreams he was having. They say, let us kill him. And now see what becomes of his dream. I decree upon your life that any power that they say, let us kill him. Let us kill her to see what becomes of her dreams. In the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, before you leave this place, I command the power to die in the name of Jesus. There are six kinds of dreams. Six. Broadly. There are more, but they can be grouped under that six. Number one. Dreams that increase you. They add to you. Two. Dreams that subtract from you. Three. Dreams that leave you the way they found you. Neither negative or positive. Four. Dreams that empty you. Five. Dreams that catapult your destiny. May you have that kind of dream in the name of Jesus. Six. Dreams that waste you. Matthew 27 was 19. Matthew 27 19. This is Pilate's wife having a dream. What a pity. Pilate did not pick the message of that dream from the wife. Matthew 27 19. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. She was tormented in a dream. Go and warn your husband. You should not have a hand in this matter. Because this thing your husband is doing now, 
it will backfire on you and your children. Warn him. She did. The man did not answer. In Genesis chapter 20, verse 3. Genesis 23. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man that you are finished you are dead <laughs> for the woman which thou hast taken for she is a man's wife <laughs> was in a dream God warned Abimelech so dreams can sometimes warn us dreams can terrify us with warnings so that we can turn away from wrongdoings that's why we say in the school of victory information is the greatest asset information transforms a man lack of information deforms a man when you lack spiritual information and you are in a battle you are an accident waiting to happen but you may ask the question why does God use dreams to us when he can talk to us directly he can use other means to talk to us why is he using the dreams I will explain the human mind gets clouded with the business of the day think about taking your transport think about going to work get to the place of work you are thinking about the work you finish from there you are going home worried about the traffic worried about how you get home so the, the business of the day has a way to cloud the mind of man so technically the only quiet time some people have or most people have is when they are asleep when you are asleep your conscious mind cannot fight God's message when we are, when we are awake our conscious mind gets in the way of hearing from God. When we are asleep and we are dreaming, there are many things you cannot contest again. Anybody who has ever gone through surgery or anything they also do and they put you under anesthesia, once they give that anesthesia, you are not in charge anymore. Same thing with sleep. When you are asleep, you are vulnerable. And you lose control of your life, God now has it. That's why you read in Job 33. Job 33, verse 14. Job 33, 14. For God speak at once. Job 33:14. For God speak at once. Yet twice. Yet man perceived it not. In a dream. 
the vision of the night when this thing falleth upon men the slumbering upon the bed it is then God opened the ears of men and sealed their instructions why that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man so that he can keep back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the soul all this the dream are you here tonight and you are hearing me you have strong dangerous prayers to pray here tonight if you are seeing corpses in your dream you are seeing coffins you are attending funerals you are being handcuffed you are being chained you are being married to an unknown person begging for food clothes money hands you need to pray hard you're walking barefooted wearing torn dresses you find that physically you have air on your head in the dream no air you are bald you are driving a vehicle which suddenly stops you looked and looked and looked for something you lost before you woke up and you did not find it before you woke up you are being pursued by giant cows giant animals you find yourself discussing with dead relatives you suffer from constant beating in the dream sometimes they beat you and you wake up in real life with scratches all over the body and you see yourself naked oh you are holding a bible and somebody took it away from you or you find yourself eating your vomit see yourself in the hospital bed or you see yourself crying and weeping or in that dream you were losing a large sum of money they are firing bullets and gunshots at you have been beaten by animals find yourself in the marketplace roaming aimlessly around you didn't buy anything you got to a big river unable to cross the river you know you should cross cannot cross find yourself carrying a big load on your head someone is giving you dirty money or you find yourself swimming in water physically you don't even know how to swim you find yourself trying to strike matches but as you strike it it will be extinguished or somebody show you your blood in a bottle show the blood draining that blood or you are in court as an accused person caught as an accused person I know many years ago a Nigerian woman married to a white man they started attending MFM Mountain of Fire when we were in Old Yaba Road but I noticed that any time we were praying a white fellow just looks at us like this and he's, 
looking at us in wonder. So one day when they saw me, I said, Mr. Man, I notice you don't pray in the services. I don't like this kind of prayer. I, I like quiet prayer. So I'm only coming here because I want to make my wife happy. No problem. One morning, I found them knocking our door by around 4 5 a.m. When, when I looked through the keyhole, it was a white man backing the wife. So they came in. I, we put, they came in. The wife could not walk. She fell on the floor. I said, What happened? The woman recounted the dream she had. So somebody came to her with a keg, a container. That, no, a keg. And the person attached something to her leg. To her leg. With a small pipe. And they passed the pipe into the keg. And she could see her blood being transferred from her body to the keg. Was going. Was going. And when that keg was full, the person said, Okay, we have taken enough blood for today. We shall be back tomorrow. So that's all she remembered. She woke up, couldn't walk again. The husband was saying, Go to hospital, go to hospital. She said, No, no, I need prayer. This is not hospital matter. Okay. I said, Okay. I face the husband. I said, I know you don't like our prayers. But uh, you have no option now. I'm going to pray the kind of prayer you don't like to hear. The only thing I want from you is this. I want you to open your mouth wide. When you hear me pray, and be shouting the loudest amen you can shout in your life. Say that's all right, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, this white man shouted, Amen! Amen! Yes. Try and improve on that a little bit. You understand? And we started the prayer. Until the woman blood was restored. Beloved, there are dreams and there are dreams. There are those you should never just push aside. Those are the wasting dreams. The dangerous dreams. A dream of self-duplication two of you <laughs> that means as a twin substitute in the spirit stealing your virtues and cutting away the good things meant for you a dreaming of violent sex with pains and feeling on waking up those are spiritual arm robbers to defile you to pollute you to manipulate you it's evidence of terrible spirit husband or terrible spirit wife such victims normally have serious trouble dreams of getting married to relatives or unknown persons 
This is the fact that is availability of your spirit man for all kinds of manipulations which can cause marital disturbances or blockages seeing yourself with double sex organs it means you are being reinvented by the, by the enemy and so progress will be very difficult dreams of always discussing with the dead discussing with the dead don't joke with that at all it means that the powers of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood they are in a rage against you and that the terminators the vultures demons waste demons they are after you it's evidence that dark powers they are speaking death to your activities can you raise up your right hand if you had had any of the dreams I've mentioned so far <laughs> you better let your voice be the loudest here we're not here tonight to play or to negotiate you can see it by yourself if God is already allowing you to see those things it means they can be addressed they should be addressed can you shout this loud and clear don't say but I've prayed this before can you shout this loud and clear that hate my existence can you shout it loud you are alive in the name of Jesus aggression Jesus said while men slept his enemies came can you shout this loud and clear shout it louder than anyone around you enemies that came while I sleep Sisters, can you be harder than that? Brothers, your time is up. Yes, continue, continue. Yes, brother, continue. Continue. Sister, continue, continue. 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 Just a little bit more. Continue, continue. In Jesus' name we pray. You see what is happening now? Yes. Shout this loud and clear. Don't be afraid. Say witchcraft agents. Marine agents. Appearing 
in my dreams. Yes, tonight is tonight. There must be no negotiation. Louder, 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 louder. louder. Jesus name we pray. Silence. Don't say anything now. Keep your eyes closed. Father, as many as are here, and you have been finding yourself as a slave, house help to some people in the dream meaning that your spirit man is being enslaved right there where you are the power of God is coming upon you that yoke is broken as the first person but you number three four five Jesus. Father, all those that are here, they scratch their bodies from the spirit realm. And it appears on the physical, which is an indication of oppression. Wherever such people are, as they are hearing me now, let the power of God come upon them from the top of the head to the sole of the feet, from the top of the head to the sole of the feet, from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. Yes. Father, all those that are here and they dream of losing body parts. Masika Tilakaya Every power that has cut off your body parts in the spirit realm. I command them to be restored. Recover them. Recover them. Recover them. Recover them. In the name of Jesus. Father. All those who are here. And the dream of ants. Or insects all over the body the mark of poverty and affliction receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus silence Power stealing your shoes. Yes. Stealing both shoes or stealing just one? Right there where you are. Recover those shoes in the name of Jesus. Recover them. Recover them, recover them, recover them, recover them, recover them, 
they cover them, they cover them, they cover them, they cover them, they cover them, they cover them, they cover them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Have your seat for a few minutes, my beloved. Dangerous dreams, dangerous prayers. If you find yourself inside an aggressive rainfall, you try to run, but nowhere to run to. It's like it's that you are under a siege. It's a terrible bombardment of attacks. Rain like affliction. You find yourself toothless or hairless. It's, it's loss of glory, loss of motivation, loss of winning spirit. It's a, it's a dangerous dream. You find yourself looking older than your age in your dream. It means you have been drained spiritually and physically. You find yourself fighting creatures that are not human beings. Short zombies. Dogs. Headless beings. It means that satanic soldiers have been assigned to attack your destiny. Find yourself flying without wings to unknown places or being pursued by flying creatures. It means you are living a double unconscious life. There are evil dedication speaking against you and that your destiny is under stubborn pursuers. You find flies attacking you is attacked by Bezebub spirits. They want to kill the person while the person is still alive. Get strange marks all over your body from the dreams. The enemy has marked you out for punishment or destruction. Naturally, you don't wear wigs, you don't wear attachment, but you find yourself in a dream wearing those things. Wearing ring, wigs, wearing attachment. Is your glory being replaced? Your benefits being exchanged for the temporary. If, if you are a sister, you are here. You can still sit down in a place for hours. Somebody is attaching something to your head. Somebody's hand is on your head for hours. And you don't even know the spiritual quality of that person. In the name of, I want to look beautiful. I feel sorry for it. By the time the problem starts, you will not know that it has to do with, with what you did. You find yourself in the dream inside a very long queue. And you are at the back, 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 back. The spirit of delay. Finding oneself in the cemetery or the hospital. There's an agenda of infirmity for you, agenda of untimely death. Drinking dirty water is pollution of your source of breakthrough. Attacks by dogs. Dogs licking your body. Sexual attacks. Breastfeeding strange children. 
So virtue being withdrawn. I see somebody listen to me now. Lord said I should tell you now so he listen to me. That the witchcraft padlocks you have been seeing that have been planted in the brain of your children they have been destroyed tonight. And I decree upon somebody here any dream designed to alter the agenda of God for your life shall expire in the name of Jesus shall expire in the name of Jesus shall expire in the name of Jesus wicked elders invading anybody's dream at a sevenfold amen we bury you alive in the name of Jesus tonight you need to surrender your life to Jesus to become a friend of God it is then you are qualified to pray the dangerous prayers we are going to start very soon you need to become a friend of God repent from every known sin you repent from every known sin you position yourself for warfare without apology raise up your right hand if, whether you understand this prayer or you don't understand it pray it all the same secret dream covenant break by fire in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Jesus name we pray in case you are here tonight you are not born again you have not testified the life to Jesus you need to do so very quickly now by raising up your right hand where you are raise up your right hand where you are God bless you as you do so right there where you are take a bold step of faith and come quickly to the altar here. If you have raised up your right hand to surrender your life to Jesus, just raise up your right hand and come quickly to the altar here. Jesus is waiting for you here. Thank you, Jesus.
I say yes, yes, Lord. I say yes, yes, Lord. I say yes, Lord. I say yes, Lord. I say yes, yes. of you at the altar, I congratulate you. Just bow down your head. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. We have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Keep them standing by your power. Write their names in the book of life. Thank you, every Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's follow our pastor here for one or two minutes. And you can join us later. God bless us to do so. For those of you who surrender their life to Jesus Christ, for more information on prayers and counseling, you can see our phone number on the screen for calls and messaging prayer warriors and counselors will be waiting to attend to you thank you on the mountain in the valley on the land and in the sea on the mountain in the valley on the land and in the sea on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. I'm trading my sorrow All eyes closed Closed as many as are in this gathering, you are always seen serpents. 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 The dream. This is not a dream to joke with. Those kind of people should lay their hands on their head as we pray this prayer. Also, if you are here, you find yourself in familiar, familiar places. Places you have lived in the past and you've left. Something keeps taking you back to that compound. Lay your hands on your belly button. In there. So if you are here and you find yourself in a hospital bed and a coffin lay your hands on your chest pray like fire and like thunder this is not a night to negotiate don't say I don't understand this prayer just pray my virtue 
What are you doing in the part of witchcraft? Can you shout it loud? Come out! Arise! Shout! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree. name we pray anything buried to cage my life can you shout it loud in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. With a voice that roars like thunder. So, serpents and scorpions in my dream. You are alone. Jesus. Continue, continue. In Jesus' name we pray. Before we go on, please bring out your tithes and offering for this meeting. Don't forget that Saturday is power must change hands. You eat your last meal Thursday night. It's of Friday, no food. We come here with a prayer request 7 a.m. on Saturday morning. The prayer points are distributed here tonight. You can find them on our website. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. Good measure, press and falling over. Let it be the lot of your children. Lay your hands upon their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. As the questions are going about, the questions are going about, we listen to the music ministration. Hallelujah, Amen. Rise to your feet, beloved. Take any song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Sing it very loud. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers it. The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers it. The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers it. The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers it. The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers it. The blood of Jesus, your hand, your hand, your hand. The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers it. The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers it. The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers it. The blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, that is power, that is power, that is power in the blood of Jesus. the woman here you fell into labor in the dream and you delivered a strange baby find a way to this altar be on your knees find your way to the altar be on your knees everybody will shout this loud and clear yes and don't negotiate at all in this prayer Anything that has to disappear for my deliverance to manifest. Can I hear you shouting this? Somebody needs to shout that loud. Disappear by fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power assigned to harden my problems. You are a love. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray with the loudest voice you can gather and with your mana water in your hand with the loudest voice you can gather and with your mana water in your hand you will shout blood of Jesus three times with a loud voice after shouting three hot times you will say deliver me by fire are you ready open your mouth and pray deliver me by open your mouth and begin to say blood of Jesus deliver me by fire deliver me by fire open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth in Jesus then we pray father let your anointing fall upon this water 
Let your power fall upon this water. Let the yoke breaking power of the Holy Ghost fall upon this water in the name of Jesus. Let this water become the water of healing, the water of deliverance, the water of power, the water of strength, the water of glory. Let the anointing of ease enter into this water. In the name of Jesus, let the power of resurrection overshadow this water in the name of Jesus. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. As you cross over into another month, you shall be the candidate of uncommon testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Father, the prayer requests are answered them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.